Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Higher Mathematics. In this video we are going to solve this really interesting question, which one is bigger? On the left hand side we have 1.005 to the power 200 and on the right hand side we have only 2, yeah? And if on the right hand side we have a great number, so 2, we, we all know about this number, so how can we tell information about this number on the left hand side? We have 1.005 to the power 200 and it's really bad thing like to raise this to the power 200 because it's not like a common common approach to this problem and we need to know about really interesting math tricks and I'm going to show you this trick here in just one minute we will compare we will choose which one is bigger on the left hand side or on the right hand side of course if you know how can we solve this you can easily write your suggestion in the comment or you can easily pause the video and try to to check which one is bigger what do you think like in your head what what what, what do you think about this question okay so you can easily choose which one is is greater which one is bigger so in math in math we are actually interested in tricks in uh, really quick uh, steps in uh, not like in raising to this to power 200 so take a look we have 1.005 to the power 200 so here is our number on the left hand side we don't type this on the right hand side because we will know about this too okay on the left hand side we have uh, this decimal number so 1.005 to the power 200 so take a look closely this 1.005 can be written as 1 plus 1 over 200, yeah? So this uh, 1 over 200, this is 0 0.005, yeah? So this is equal to 0 0.005, yeah? And 1 plus 0 0.005, it will be the same number as right here. But we just need to take this in parentheses, so we have like 1 plus 1 over 200 to the power 200, yeah? So here is our expression right now. So instead of the decimal expression, we have like in a fraction way, we have 1 plus 1 over 2, 200 to the power 200. Okay, what are we going to do next? If you know, for example, like I, I write it on the left hand side, for example, we have 2 cube, yeah? This is equal to 2 times 2 times 2, uh, how many times? 3 times, yeah? 3 times. We have 3 times, we multiply 2 by itself. Right here we have 200, yeah? So let's try to express, or uh, let's rewrite it in another way. Let's write it as a product. So a product of what number? We have this uh, expression and we multiply it by itself 200 times. So we have 1 plus 1 over 200 times 1 plus 1 over 200, yeah? Uh, and times we have once more or we have dot 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 we have the previous one we have 1 plus 1 over 200 and the last for example we write as 1 plus 1 over 200 yeah so we just write it and of course we know that right here we have how many times we have 200 elements so right here we have 200 elements Okay, I hope you understand this step. This is like a basic, basic mess. I hope you understand this. Nothing, nothing hard, I guess. But what are you going to do next? This is a product on the left hand side. But right here we have two, so it's, it's hard to compare this long product with these two. So I suggest you to express, to express these two. For example, we have these two on the, on the right hand side. We have these two. Let's write it as 400 over 200, yeah? So it will be the same too, yeah? So this is really important moment. We just use a little bit, maybe substitution in our case. We just express this too as 400 over, over 200. And right now I wanna show you this trick I'm, I mentioned before. Let's, okay, we have this two and let's express this two as, take a look close, the really important product. So 201 over 200 times 202 over 201 times 203 over 202 times and dot 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 the previous one we have 399 over 398 times 400 over 399 okay so we have we have this product and right now take a look closely really interesting moment because this 201 can be easily cancelled with, with this 201. This 202 can easily be cancelled with this 202. And step by step, this 203 right here, we have the same fraction with, with 203 in the numerator. And step by step, we go to the last step. This 399 can be cancelled with this one. And 398 we can cancel with this in the numerator. So step by step, we cancel all these numbers. But in the, in the, in the conclusion, as a result, we have 200 in the numerator and 400 in the numerator. So 
we can we don't can cancel this numerator and denominator numerator in the last and number denominator in the beginning so we have the same two but really important moment take a look closely we have 201 so as you can see this is the same two but 201 over 200 how can we write it we can easily write this first element as 1 plus 1 over 200 yeah okay 202 over 201 we can easily write it as 1 plus 1 over 201 okay the next step step by step we just go to the previous one we have 1 plus 1 over 398 and the last step we have 1 plus 1 over 399 okay it will it will be our elements right here and as well we will have right here 200 elements 200 elements yeah elements because we start from 200 and we finish from two four four hundred so right here we have this element right here this one the previous one the last one so as you can see we can easily write uh, in another way as i write wrote before we can easily write it in a fraction way and now the final result right here take a look closely this is our two and this is our first element in these two this is completely the same as right here i hope you see this yeah you see this okay so this is completely the same as as right here okay so we wrote it as uh, this expression and right now take a look closely after this element so in our minds we can easily cancel this but after this elements we have one plus one over 200 and the next one in this expression we have one plus one over 201 yeah so that as you can see is this denominator grows step by step after the second element so right here we have only 200 in every time every time right here this 201 202 203 204 yeah and now we need only to see one really important moment so right here 1 over 200 and right here 1 over 201 so the numerator is greater than the whole fraction if the numerator is greater then the whole fraction is lower than this one because right here we have 1 over 200 in this expression and right here we have 1 over 201 so if we add to this one this element it will be greater expression than adding to this one this element with 1 over 201 so i hope you understand my thoughts right here because this is really important so this is the same in conclusion this is bigger than this one yeah and bigger than this one and this one so as you can see if elements uh, right here is bigger then the product is is greater so we can easily write our final answer answer we have that our our one z.005 to the power 200 is greater than Two. this is my explanation of course a lot of thoughts about it you can easily write your thoughts how can you how can you solve this question this is my explanation i find this more i find this uh, solution in my math book and i wanted to share with you with this explanation but actually don't feel bad if you got this wrong maybe you have your own solution it will be really interesting for me to read about it because it's really important question and i i want to see your solution maybe you find another formula maybe with with the limit right here because it's kind of great function to to apply a limit maybe or uh, i will be really appreciate if you write your thoughts about it so thank you for your time and have a great day see you in the next videos and take care of yourself